Bioshock 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Bioshock 2. On the last episode, we got started on the series. A uh, fairly strong start. The very, very beginning was um, gracious. Uh, we got to see... I mean, it looked like... It looked like our big daddy here had blown his brains out. But apparently we're up and moving. Um, so that's good. It's been possibly 10 years since we've been laying on the floor. I'm not sure if that's going to be explained, but we've already got, uh, we've got a rivet gun, which is exciting. Um, we've got, obviously, our drill arm, which is helpful. And we have electro bolt, so we already have a plasmid. Now we're going to head towards the Adonis Luxury Resort and see what happens. You're very excited to see me. Big sister doesn't want you playing with me. Big sister. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. There's no way I'll be able to beat this thing. Like... I'm glad I scared it off, because holy crap. I went through two health... This is Dr. Sophia Lamb with a message for the people. Remember, Big Sister is always watching. To steal Adam is to steal from the Rapture family. Your family. Okay. Okay, um... Sure, I mean, I'm still learning... I'm still learning more uh, about all of this... this process. But apparently there's big sisters, and they're mechanical robot things, and they're hideous and frightening. And, uh, Lamb, I think, is the one that Tenabomb has the issue with. But I'm not entirely certain yet. Anything I can do to get some crap back, I... Doggone it, I... I used up two health kits. Maybe there's a health kit dispensary. I saw a sign for one, um, at some point. Is this open? It looks like at one point it did. What was this? Registration. Well, I'm not going to be able to register for anything now. Great. Drill fuel. Still picking that up. Uh, canned beans, canned fruit. Might as well leave this stuff here because it's going to increase my health to nothing. I mean, there's food around, but... Again... Oh, I already checked these. Again, what I need is I need uh, some health kits. Don't see anything behind there. Generation. That could be interesting. Diane insisted that we spend a weekend at the Adonis. And already I find myself seeking a respite from my vacation. And she deems it necessary to chide me for working. The words dissolve into an endless animal bleat. I founded Rapture to be free of law and God. To live among those for whom work is our wage. Yet, when Diane speaks of bearing my child, I am given pause. Until now, I had never considered my legacy. Perhaps, perhaps after the new year. Interesting to hear from Andrew Ryan. Um, I guess we will be hearing from him occasionally, which is uh, kind of fascinating. All right, drill fuel is basically full at this point. I did manage to find a first aid kit, which makes me happy. Cannot carry any more rivets, so 60 rivets. We might be able to increase that at some point, doing something, but right now it doesn't seem so. Um, trash can, sardines and aspirin. It's my favorite dinner. Mmm, sardines and aspirin. Elevators, obviously these are not working. But uh, back up to, uh, to two first aid kits, so at least I feel a little more comfortable now. 
I mean, there's Banquet Hall. This is where the big sister ran. And apparently is still lingering, which is exciting. Uh, not particularly pleased. Gonna not keep my, my back turned for too terribly long because of that. Very sinister music. I believe uh, they are, it's the same composer. Same composer for Bioshock 1 and 2. We will be reborn in the cold womb of the ocean. Oh, good. We gonna have a round two, buddy? You're just waiting for me to jump down. Let's do it! Oh, God! Not ideal. Oh! I mean, I'm guessing I can breathe, though, right? Okay, I'll just exist underwater. Wow, it's it's kind of weird to be underwater like this. It's like, hey, you want to go that way? And I'm like, yeah, I know. Just chill. There's no way to swim. Obviously, I'm I'm built like a rock. In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. Hey man, help 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 a brother out. Or don't. Fighting splicers. Fuel. Well, I guess I don't need any of that. Wow. This is wild. As far as I know, this is like the first time you're allowed outside of Rapture. You're just in the ocean. It's actually really fascinating and quite beautiful. One of the things that was definitely retained from Bioshock 1 is uh, is the art design, art direction. And uh, already this game feels very much like a true sequel. It's almost like we never even left. Beautiful. That said, I probably need to get back into the city somehow. Welcome to Rapture. All right. Wow. That's so beautiful. Ugh. Your beautiful city. I don't think we're missing anything around here. I don't think there's going to be any supplies out here. Man, I, uh... I'm going to be honest. I'm going to have to get Mal to, uh... to play through these games so she'll pl So she can... There it goes. So she can do a, uh, a Bioshock-themed uh, Malmix painting. It'd be beautiful. Airlock, drain. Much better. Much, much better. Daddy's home indeed. Ah, Herr Delta. You arrive, as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. Awesome. Sounds like we're going to learn some stuff, which is great. Get to Tenabomb. Uh, sure. Sounds like she's not far away. And there's a, I, I, maybe a splicer up ahead? <laughs> Sounds like there's a splicer up ahead. That's no problem. I already have a, a fairly good handle on things. I'm also not sure how well I can... S Maybe I shouldn't even bother crouching. I don't think I can really sneak. I'm a frickin'... <laughs> built like a frickin' tank. I'm not exactly silent. Got plenty of uh, supplies, though. Holy cow. Atlantic Express Maintenance Facility. I'll take three this time. Do you understand that? Three. There's a guy talking safety. What? 
Now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals. To be honest, I, prob I probably could have got that guy if I would have shot him just a little sooner, but I wasn't sure if he was, like, important. Alright, by the chamber. So that's a save point, just in case something goes wrong. In case we in case we die, God forbid. We'll be alright. Um, what do we got over here? Canned beans. Don't need those right now. You can sometimes trick the security system into opening a door, but you must have the proper tool. I did not mean to click. Uh, hack tool diagram. You got the hack tool. Press the uh, left mouse button to fire it at machines to subvert them to your side. Interesting. And there's a remote hack dart. Okay, and that's what I have here. And there's also tool dispenser. Ooh, okay, again, I can get some extra ones of these. And there's no reason not to. I was able to fill up... I don't know how many of these I can hold, but I was able to fill up on uh, Eve Hypo in the first episode, and it looks like this thing is very freely giving me plenty of this stuff, which is really nice. Any extras? Okay, so that's as many as I can carry. Um, but I can do this. To hack a machine, press F to stop the needle on a green section of the meter to advance. White will give you a nasty shock. Oh, God. Huh, hack successful. Result of a successful hack, secure door is now unlocked. So the hack stuff has changed. Um, I mean, I'm not entirely sure if that's indicative of how all the hacking will go, but that hacking thing is new. Um, certainly faster than doing the, the water tube maze. But then again, that that might still make an appearance in the game, not sure. You can also proximity hack by approaching a machine and pressing B. B for hack? Hack successful. Hack security bots are friendly and will attack your enemies. Get a blue bonus while hacking to upgrade their damage. Oh, so if I try to do it in the blue, they get better, I guess. Cool. But that's probably much harder, getting it in the blue instead of getting it in the green. Neat. All right, so now I have a friend. We will be reborn. All right. Come on, little security bot. You're my buddy now. And there's a person who needs a good a good workout with my, uh, my drill straight ahead. <laughs> Doesn't sound great. Die! Gah! Sorry about that, bot. This I should really give you a chance Sophia to shine. Andrew Ryan is dead, but the tyrant dwells within us all. Remember, we reject the gene. We reject the self. We reject the tyrant. Sounds like this, uh, this lamb person has basically taken over... Um, basically taken over Rapture. And so we have a new problem to solve. The workshop. These people are dead, so I don't have to worry about that. Nothing in there. Let's see if there's anything of interest in here. No supplies. Um, let's see. I thought I saw something flashing over here, but... Maybe not? Nothing here. Oh! A diary. Wonderful. The Great Chain Rattles. I'm told that the people grow tense and isolated absence of the sun. Now they clamor for a psychiatrist. Do they miss the state censor, I wonder? Wartime seizure of private assets? Or the check of police vanishing them in the night? Regardless, this lamb woman is said to be the foremost practitioner in her field. Fine. If she can quiet the rattling of the Great Chain's weakest links, I will leave her to it. Alright, so I just hacked to this health station, and now I can heal for cheaper, but if I would have hacked into the blue, I would have got a free 
first aid. Good to know. Um, the other thing I wanted to find out is if I could hack while a voice clip would, was going on, and it wouldn't stop the voice clip, and apparently that's okay. So good. Wonderful. I also love how it says searched. Like, you already checked them. The game is on your side, man. There's so many video games you play, and, you know, you're left sitting there as a player thinking, like, why didn't you implement this? But uh, 2K has already thought of it. Cannot carry any more rivets. I haven't really been using the rivet gun. But apparently this is very important. Gate control. Oh, God. Please stand by. Getting a lot of Bioshock 1 feels. I know you. That symbol on your hand marks you a dead man. Ten years, Subject Delta. Since I watched you put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. But take heart. Out of your pain, Paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is an act of love. It is Sophia Lamb. She has found you. Yeah, no crap. You wanna get me out of here? <laughs> Certainly I can jump through the window now, right? <laughs> Live. Wow. Again, I was using up my first aid kits. There's a lot of times where uh, I feel like I'm going to die, so I'm using my first aid kits, but it's like, no, you're fine. Maybe I should just not, not use them. Um, also, I learned a lot there. Um, I am the same guy, and I have a name. My name is Subject Delta, and uh, Lamb tried to kill me ten years ago. Somehow I've survived. Interesting. Out of... And because of me, Paradise was born. Rapture Masquerade Ball, 1959. I wasn't around to see that. So, I just laid unconscious? I don't know. I can't carry any more of the remote... <laughs> the remote hacks. Uh, I gotta look for floating bodies, man. Because that's where I'm gonna be able to find... Five dollars! Five dollars? Yes, I will reach into the corpse pockets and grab five dollars. Now you know of the enemy we share, Sophia Lamb. The camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. Okay, as I suspected, Lamb is the enemy of Tenabom and then also myself. Why did she want me to... Why did she want me dead? I'm not sure. Let's see, Masquerade Ball. Pushing forward. Whoa! Press and hold M to get a hint if you're stuck. I don't need no hint. I'm good. The only question I got is how, how I get through there. Can I do that? Pro I probably can, but I probably can't do it here. It actually won't let me jump. Interesting. Huh. I guess they don't want me to risk getting stuck or something. But maybe there's a way to... Looks like you can get in through the back over there, so we'll figure out a way. Uh, all right. Got a crouch. Atlantic Express Administrative Storage. Is it by the chamber? Let's go ahead and make sure that's marked. Oh, hey, buddy! You're still with me? How? But how? You went, like, in the ground. Oh, there's a security camera. All right, we got even more to, uh, to deal with. By the chamber, let me make sure there's nothing in this room that I'm missing. I only came through here. <laughs> Any more corpses? I can get some more first aid. Lamb will lead the way. There's a lot of people that put a lot of faith in this lamb person. Um, I guess good, I guess. Careful. Security cameras belong to lamb. But if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. If I'm clever. <laughs> Cameras will set off alarm with the void you. Fire your hack tool to make them your ally. That's what, about what I figured. Alright, so I got it blue. 
Um, hacked cameras work for you spotting enemies and sending security bots after them. Get a blue bonus while hacking for a longer friendly alarm. So that's what I did. Okay, cool. So that's on my side, which sounds awesome. I got a spare remote hack, even more than I can even hold. Okay, that's going to do my bidding, so I don't even have to deal with it. Got some canned beans in case I... Die! There's a wrench. I guess I don't need that that weapon here. Greenfield cake. Haven't been using my rivet gun at all. <laughs> it's my, I think it's just... Uh, there's something very visceral, honestly, about, you know, uh, hitting someone with this drill hand and feeling like you have all this power. Um... That's probably why. Three dollars? I'm really making some mad cash, but I'm gonna need it later. And that thing's on my side now, which is nice. Two dollars. See anything over here? More desk stuff. First aid. More money. Oh, I can search these filing cap. That made that fall for some reason. Maybe I should use the rivet. I just have so many rivets. But, uh... None of the enemies are causing me so much pain that I have to stay away from them. It's one of my big reasons also. We are but the stones to pave the way. This isn't creepy at all. Um, bot shutdown panel. Let me get a reminder on what this is. Bot shutdown panels are used to uh, cancel active security alarm and shut down any security bots that have been summoned by the alarm. Using a bot shutdown panel is free. Alarms can also be canceled by successfully hacking the device that originally triggered it, whether it was a security camera or a failed hack on another machine. Okay, so if I fail a hack and it sets off a security alarm, um, I can hack that device again and try again and it'll shut it off. Cool. Got it. And then this just shuts down stuff. Jet Postal Office. Does this go anywhere? I mean, it looks like a door, but there's not really a button to activate door, so I'll go this way. Jet Postal. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. So... It sounds like this... Eleanor was the little sister I had with me before I shot myself in the head. And the way she refers to mother, it sounds like Lamb is mother. So Lamb is mother and I'm her father. Telekinesis. Pick up big stuff with your mind, throw it at your enemies. What do you need to know? Uh, pulls an object towards you, so I've got three open slots right now, so I'll put it here. Beautiful little, uh... Throw objects at foes. You can even catch grenades and throw them back. Beautiful little video there. Uh, press and hold the right, tr uh, mouse button to grab objects, and then release to throw. Okay, so let's switch to telekinesis. Um, so this just does my weapons. How do I do... It's not tab. Tab brings up a console command. I'm not actually sure how to switch my... Is it one and two and three? No, those are my weapons. Alright, uh, well I currently have it, so let's try this out. So I got all these things, and let's throw them... I don't know. Here. And I can press R to drop objects, so I can pick up this chair, and then instead of throwing it, I can just press R. Cool. Awesome. Um, but... Q and Z. Next plasmid and previous plasmid is Q and Z. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, see, that was... That sort of thing's important. There we go. So... Wait, what? Okay, there we- so, if I do Q or Z, I can switch back and forth. Okay. Alright. See that? That's helpful. That's helpful. Give me my gun. I'm gonna use my gun. So I can grab grenades in midair, and throw them back, and I can also do other cool stuff. Uh, male pneumo control, activate. I can eat potted meat. 
So this, this gives me a chance to, to test how this all works. So I can catch all this meat. Cool. And actually, does it... Yeah, from what I can tell, it actually does not cost anything to catch. It costs it to throw, so if I, if I do this and then release, I use telekinesis, or I use some of my Eve. But if I'm just catching and then dropping, it actually doesn't cost me anything, which is really good to know. And I have plenty of, uh, plenty of potted meat if I want. I'm not going to bother eating all this because it's not doing me any good right now, but, uh, very, very excellent. Very excellent. Um, pretty pleased. I also have a good... I feel like I have a, a pretty good feel of the, uh, the controls right now, which is, uh, which is good. All right, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We've already learned a lot. It says, hope this helps. We've learned so much. We're learning a lot about story, and uh, I'm starting to understand what some of the reviewers said about it being a slow start. We are kind of moving slow, but we're getting stuff. Now we have telekinesis available to us. Um, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen in the next episode, because it seems like every, every chunk is giving us a little bit more story. So I'm sure we're going to learn more, uh, learn even more on episode three. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Bioshock 2.